The iPhone 10 is by far the biggest change to the iPhone since the original iPhone came out in 2007. We get the first OLED display on an iPhone, the first resolution bump since the iPhone 6, the first iPhone with facial recognition capabilities, the home button is now gone and everything is based on gestures now. So overall the new iPhone 10 takes some time getting used to, so here are not 5, not 10, but actually 25 iPhone 10 tips and tricks that most of you probably didn't know and that most of you definitely need to know. So grab some whatever snacks you want to grab and enjoy. Okay, so at number one, we have the home button. So the home button has been removed indeed, but did you know that you can actually bring it up again? So if you go to settings, general and accessibility, just scroll down until you see assistive touch and go ahead and enable it. Now make sure that three touch is set to take you home and that's pretty much it, there you go. You now have a virtual home button that you can actually reposition whatever you wish. And if you three touch on it, it will actually act just like the home button on the iPhone 7. So it would essentially take you home. Now, I wouldn't suggest uh, using this on a regular basis because it's pretty slow. It's so much faster just swiping up to go home, but hey, at least you get a new tool to play around with uh, just in case you want to bring back those home button memories. Now, if your iPhone is completely unresponsive, previously on the iPhone 6s and older, you force restart it by holding the power button and the home button. With the iPhone 7, that was the power button and the volume down button, but now with the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 as well, uh, this is quite different. So to force restart, quickly press the volume up button once, then the volume down button once, and then press and hold the power button, which is now called the side button, by the way, until the screen turns black. So this is how you force restart uh, your iPhone in case it's unresponsive. Again, this only works on the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8. The process is quite different on previous iPhones and the iPhone 7 as well. And some of you might be wondering, how do I put my iPhone 10 in the FU mode now for future jailbreaks or if you want to restore from uh, using iTunes to a previous signed version of iOS? Well, first off, you need to connect your iPhone 10 to your computer and you want to open up iTunes. Then go on your iPhone and press the volume up button once, the volume down button once, and then press and hold the side button for 10 seconds. Then press and hold the volume down button while continuing to hold down uh, the side button and then after five seconds release the side button and continue holding the volume down button for 10 more seconds until iTunes tells you that your iPhone is in DFU mode and that the only option that you get or that you should get uh, is a restore. Now in case you're stuck in DFU mode or recovery mode for some reason, here's how to exit that. So press the volume up button once, then press the volume down button once and then hold the side button until you see the app logo appear. And that's pretty much it. You're now out of DFU mode or recovery mode. Now, this is how Face ID works. So it scans your eyes first, and if it detects your iris perfectly centered towards the camera, then it essentially knows that you're paying attention and it unlocks the phone. Now, in some cases, especially when you're wearing uh, sunglasses that are very, very reflective, it won't be able to see your eyes and essentially Face ID won't work. So to fix that or any similar Face ID issues, just go to settings, then go to Face ID and passcode and disable the request require attention for Face ID. So this way Face ID will only read the shape of your face and it won't look for your uh, eyes. So it won't look for attention. Now this will make sunglasses work, uh, but it's not as secure and people will be able to unlock this by simply putting your iPhone to your face when you sleep, for example. So it's not as secure, but it will work if you're, especially if you're, uh, if this didn't work with your particular sunglasses. And if you remember the reachability feature in previous iPhones where you double tapped uh, on the home button and you actually brought the entire UI down to make it easier to use with one hand. Well, this is also available on the iPhone 10 as well. So to enable it, simply go to uh, settings, then go to general, then go to accessibility and simply enable reachability. Now using reachability is very, very tricky. You have to swipe down from the middle portion of your dock. So this thing actually takes a lot of attempts to master and most of the times it won't even work, but there's actually an easier way to do it. So all you have to do is just swipe up as if you're going home and then simply swipe down just a tiny bit. I've actually found this gesture to be way more reliable and this one seems to work 100% of the times. Then we all love and emojis, but you can only record 10 seconds of them, which is obviously not enough. Well, here's how to record an infinite amount of any emojis. So what you want to do is simply go into settings, then open up the control center, then go into customize controls and just enable the screen recording toggle. Then open up iMessage, start the new conversation, select the any emojis from the app drawer. And by the way, make them full screen. And now what you want to do is just open up the control center and start screen recording. And now you can record
record, well, forever, or at least until you run out of space, that is. And if you want to be a bit more advanced, by the way, just open up iMovie and simply edit your video to remove everything except for the emojis in the middle. Also, did you know that you can actually turn emojis into stickers? Yes, you can. And it's it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just drag an emoji into the conversation. By the way, not the message bar, just you know, the actual conversation. Uh, and the fixed image of your emojis facial expression will be sent. Now, sometimes the brightness of your iPhone's display is way, way too high, even at its lowest setting. Now, this is usually an issue at night when, you're, when you want to read something and you just don't want a bright screen blinding you. Well, here's how to reduce the brightness even more than the lowest level that you can normally do. So for this, just open up the settings, go into general, then go into accessibility and just go into display accommodations and enable reduce white points and reduce this to the level that you wish, to the percentage that you wish. So this makes it so, so much easier on the eyes when you want to read at night in complete darkness. And some of you might already know this, but with iOS 11, you can actually move multiple apps at the same time, not just one by one. So to do this, just hold, uh, hold an app until it wiggles, then tap and hold onto a specific app and move it a tiny bit. And while it's moving, you can also tap on multiple apps and move them all together at the same time. So this is very, very useful, especially if you want to move a large number of apps into the same folder. Now, the following tip is a battery saving tip. So if you go to settings and then wallpapers, Apple actually added a completely black wallpaper for the iPhone 10, exclusively for the iPhone 10. And if you apply this and use this, it will save so, so much battery because the iPhone 10 comes with an OLED display. And long story short, when the display shows black, that portion of the display is completely turned off. So you're not consuming any energy for anything that's black on your display. And speaking of black, dark mode is here on the iPhone 10, kinda. So we still don't have a default dark mode, but if you go to settings and then general and accessibility and then display accommodations and then vert colors, you can enable smart invert, which will turn all the whites black and all the you know blacks whites so uh, essentially it will keep it will invert everything but it will also keep the home screen the photos and the videos uh, with their original colors now unfortunately this doesn't work that well in third-party apps such as youtube since everything gets inverted here so it's not fully usable but in first-party apps it kind of is. And remember that ultra power saving mode from Samsung devices? Well, that one can literally extend your battery life to weeks of usage. Now, obviously that's light usage or almost no usage, but still, if you wanna, if you wanna get the extra juice, there's also a way to do it on the iPhone 10 as well. So again, just go to uh, accessibility settings and now scroll down to accessibility shortcuts and have this set to ask. Now select smart and water colors and reduce white point, both of which we've talked about before. And now what you want to do is just triple click the side button and you can activate both inverted colors and make everything black. And you can also lower the brightness even more by reducing the white point. And then if you enable low part mode from the control center, now your iPhone would last a lot, lot longer than before. This is in case you're in an emergency situation and you need every single extra juice that you can get. Apple juice. That is, of course. Now, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but the iPhone 10 actually comes with a brand new ringtone. So it's an exclusive ringtone just for the iPhone 10. It's called Reflection, and it's actually enabled by default. And this is how it sounds like. Then in case you want to take a screenshot on your iPhone 10, I'm guessing that you discovered this one already uh, accidentally. So all you have to do is press the side button and the volume up button, and this is how you take a screenshot on an iPhone 10. Now multitasking on the iPhone 10 can be slow, like really, really slow. You have to swipe, uh, you have to swipe up from, uh, from the bottom and then hold and then you get access to the app switcher. So it's really, really slow, but there's actually three ways, three easier ways of doing this. So the first one, this one is the easiest one. So uh, all you have to do is just swipe up and then to the right from the bottom left corner. And this one is the easiest and the fastest way to bring up the internal multitasking screen. Now, another way to do this is to swipe up, but instead of holding, release quickly, and this will enable the multitasking screen again. So again, just swipe up and release quickly. Don't hold, just release quickly. And then finally, you can also swipe uh, on the bottom bar to switch between apps, right or left, which is by far the fastest way to go to the previous app you used. And of course, from here, you can just uh, swipe up and right from the bottom left corner to see all of your open apps. And some of you might not be aware of, but the HDR button in the camera app is now gone. Did you did you notice that, by the way? And that's because the Apple 11 chip is so powerful that it always takes an HDR shot now. And it essentially processes uh, the HDR shot according to what it sees on in that specific scene. 
but if you want that HDR button back, just go into settings, go into camera and disable auto HDR. And there you go. Now the HDR button will be back in the camera. Now, if you're a new user of an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8, you might not know that even though the new iPhones can record 4K video at 60 frames per second, which is honestly amazing for such a small device, well, 4K60 is actually disabled by default. And even if you go to settings and then camera, there's no 4K60 option, just 4K30. So to enable 4K60, all you have to do is go back and then go into formats and enable high efficiency or HVC encoding for a video and HEIF uh, encoding for photos. And now when you go back to the resolution and the frame rate options, you'll see 4K60 as an option. And probably not that many of you know this, but you can actually scan uh, QR codes right from the camera app. Previously, you actually, you actually had to use a third-party app, but now all you have to do is just find the QR code and open up the camera app, and yeah, th this pop-up will appear, and press it, and this will take you to the link in Safari. And that's pretty much it. You can now scan natively QR codes in the camera app. Now, the iPhone 10's display is great. Having that extra vertical screen real estate means that you get to see much more stuff, much more detail, much more data and info in the apps and on your home screen and in various menus. However, when you're watching a video, you actually get these two black bars because most videos are in 16 by nine. But there are actually two ways you can zoom in or crop a video. Some apps, or most apps to be honest, uh, will have this crop function when viewing video in the native iOS 11 video player. So just press that and it essentially fills, fills the entire display. And now the second method, uh, an app such as YouTube, you have to pinch to zoom uh, and there, there you go, you now have a full screen video. So you don't have a specific button, you actually just have to pinch to zoom. Now of course that you would actually lose the top and the bottom sections uh, of the video since you're cropping in and then the notch will also take a lot of space. But if you don't care about those, at least you have a full screen video now. Then on the iPhone 10, since you have that notch, there's not enough room to see all of your icons on the top. So you've probably discovered this already, but to bring those back, all you have to do is just slide down uh, from the top right corner to open up the control center. And now you have the entire icon bar back, just like in the previous versions of iOS, including the battery percentage, uh, do not disturb and much, much more. And then closing apps is actually way easier and faster on the iPhone 10 than on any previous iPhones. So just open up the multitasking screen by swiping up and then right from the bottom left corner, if you remember that, hold onto an app and now tap the X icon as quickly as you can and uh, close all the apps. So this is this is really, really quick. This is so much quicker than ha uh, having to swipe up, which by the way, you can also do on an iPhone 10, swiping up, but just tapping as quickly as possible. The X icon is so, so much faster. And finally, since the iPhone 10, it comes with an OLED display, well, OLED displays actually have, and essentially will have burn-in. Now, Apple says this on their website. So the only way to avoid burn-in is to avoid keeping the same image on your display for long periods of time. So for example, don't use an app that displays the same artwork in the same places for more than 20 minutes. Try changing, try pausing the app, try, I don't know, switching to a different one every 20 minutes or so. Don't keep the screen static. So there you go, 25 tips and tricks for the iPhone 10. For you to subscribe if you wanna see more in-depth tech videos like this one, and also don't forget to enable notifications by tapping on that bell icon so that you get notified whenever a cool new video comes out. Now, let me know in the comments which tips and tricks did you find the most interesting ones and the most useful ones, and then also what iPhone 10 videos should I do next? What should I focus on? What should I test? What should I do? Let me know in the comments. But this has been pretty much it. Feel free to give a like if you've enjoyed it. Let me know. It took a really, really long time to make, so every feedback is really appreciated on these kind of videos, uh, and on all videos, actually. But yeah, this has been pretty much it, so thank you all for watching. I'm Daniel, I'll see you guys in my next one. Zen of Tech, signing out. Cheers.